Welcome back everyone, Savage Sasquatch here, and we're back with some more Dark Souls Remastered on the Xbox One X. So, in our last videos, um, the last video was Kalami. We showed you um, how to get his tail, we showed you how to kill him, and then we also showed you how to slide down ladders, because that's something apparently a noob like me didn't know. I don't know why that one guy's running. It's weird. But anyway, in this video... Oh, the video before that was Night Artorius, and the video before that we showed you uh, how to get to this Artorius of the Abyss DLC area. It's not... it's a little bit hidden. You have to know the right sequence of events. Most of you guys probably know by now, but in case you don't, check out that video. It's also got the Sanctuary Guardian boss. Plenty of bosses in this DLC, which is great. Um, so this... we are heading towards the last boss, and we're going to try to finish the Artorius of the Abyss DLC right here. So, this room right here is tough. Since our last video, I've died here a couple of times. You get uh, a couple of casters. Okay, these guys wander out. If you just sit there and wait, those guys eventually will apparently wander out. And you can take this on a little more civilized. And we took one small hit there. And so now that I don't have three guys beating on me, I can get over here behind a pillar where the casters can't get me. And I can take this guy, single him out. Casters are none too happy about this, of course. Oh my gosh. They almost blew my head off. And they're laughing at me. Oh, they are poisoning this area. And we got him. That is one of the toughest stretches I've seen here in a bit. Alright, looks like we got some kind of big knight up there. I also want to make sure that there's nothing about to jump out here on the sides. I remember this guy being ah, a tough cookie for sure. He's just not the usual guy I remember. I don't remember everything about him. Let's see. Alright, I want to see if I can leash this guy, because this guy is not taking very much damage from this weapon. Alright, so let's try the Balder Sword. The one thing about this playthrough, I really like my... Yeah, that's a lot more damage. I really like my Quilog Furry Sword, but, man, there's a lot of things with fire resist that make it not conducive to playing that. What are you? See, he's got that thing that he swings around. Like, when he spins, he may miss you. But he drags that thing along with him to where... Wow. That did it. I mean, he's only worth a thousand. He's not that big of a deal of a dude. But he also can do some damage. I don't even know if that guy responds. I don't think he does. Okay, this should summon the elevator. You don't want to step off till it's here. Okay, that's terrifying. Now we have another very dark area down here. And we thankfully have a, another bonfire. This means we're probably, once again, going to get invaded at some point. I actually beat my last invader. I haven't beat many people in a while. I'm not great at that part of the game. I want to get great, but uh, get too split-focused. So. so bonfire is lit. We don't have to go through that nightmare area anymore. We reverse our hollowing, 
And we can kindle now. So now we go out and we wait for the idiots to descend upon us. We can explore a little bit here. This is... You can see plenty enough in front of you. You just don't see very far. Okay, so we charged out here. What did we charge into? Thankfully, nothing hit us. So that's one way, is going down there. The other way is down here to a sea of these little... idiots. That wasn't too bad. Humanity. Flask is more in the line with that. Please get Dark Beat off of my screen. Oh, a large Titanite Shard. It's worth like 3,800 if we were buying them. Wow, right to the face, that guy goes down. And we continue delving into the dark. Oh, the ghosts. I hate the ghosts. Ghosts are not cool. Ghosts will come from that direction. Oh, and we can fall through right here. So hopefully the ghosts don't drop in. And what is this? That is an illusion. Neat. Great. Tons of ghosts. So if they, like, if they even touch you, if they pass through you, you take damage. So we got this illusion of a cat here. The other thing about these ghosts is that they don't give you hardly any experience. So the cat did lead me over here to this area. Perhaps, possibly even for a reason. So 
What happens if we take this? This takes us up somewhere. I don't know if this is a secret area. I guess it wouldn't hurt to top off on health. The Royal Wood. Okay, so this gives you an alternate way down. This thing is very far down. Here. I know we want to explore everything out here. There's a humanity. I don't see any items over there, so we're not going to go over there. We're going to head down this pillar here and see what's down lower. slab a very good item key for upgrading certain weapons all the way so this right here is where the boss is we're not ready for that yet I just realized I took a wrong turn unfortunately so we've got to work our way back up the pillar okay so when we take this ramp down here we can either go up, and that's where we went last time, or we can travel down here to see what secrets lie right here. So, we've just body pulled something. So we just want to inch forward so that way we don't end up with multiple ghosts messing up our attempt here. ghost coming. I like having those ghosts up there just to be able to see what's where and where I'm going. Completely dark out here. This is the abyss. That worked out. And we got the black flame. I think that's a spell. Hey, there's a Twin Humanities. If you can farm those down here, that's huge.
And here's Manus. He's difficult. He doesn't give you a lot of openings, so you gotta use him where you get him.
want him to get in close. That guy is tough. That took a good few tries. We <laughs> Soul of Manus. We definitely dipped into our... Oh, 10 humanity. Yeah, I mean, we dipped 6 humanity, I think, into our reserves there. So it doesn't surprise me to get 60,000 for killing him. Which is, sadly, not quite enough for a level at this point. I don't think we have any other... I could be wrong. I have to double check. Oh, we do have something. Oh, that was 10,000. Perfect. Soul of a great hero. So, we rest, we level up, and once again, I think we're going to up our faith a little bit, and we're going to start working our faith and intelligence up. Eventually want to be able to use that uh, some of these other very interesting weapons that require 20 int and faith, and so... All right, guys, I think at this point, let's see here, we're going to first warp to, well, I think we can warp just about anywhere here, honestly, to rest, and then we're going to warp, more importantly, to Firelink Shrine. And we will end our episode actually there. I'm not going to head into the final area yet. I want to do a little research and see if there's any boss weapons that we want. Because I've never done a, um, a build like this with the decks and I'm enjoying it. But I want to make sure there's no weapons I'm missing out on. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to shoot us a thumbs up. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Reach out. Uh, we'll get back to you pretty quick. And above all, please subscribe to the channel and we'll keep plenty more action coming your way. We've got more Fortnite coming, as well as some Overwatch this summer, and who knows, maybe we'll play all the Souls this summer. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments if you want that. Uh, we want to know the games that you want to see. So until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here.